Are you doing account activity reports? Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. You know, account activity reports do a lot of things for you. And the, the biggest thing that it does to you, or does for you, for your business, is that it shows your clients uh, the value of your service. You know, we always, uh, you know, when we're out there, we're selling accounts and we're closing deals and things, you know, and we're telling the clients that we're doing this and we do that and we do this, that, and the other, you know, and that's all fine and good. But with an account activity report, you can actually give them a report every month uh, of what's going on. So on this report, what you would do is that you would, uh, you'd have, uh, you know, how many uh, times that the supervisor did visits. Uh, you'd probably list uh, the how many work tickets there were in that month, uh, and then maybe uh, uh, also you would put the number of cleanings that were done that month. And uh, something else you could do is that you could uh, you know who did the cleaning. You know that'd be that'd be great. You know list the people that that were in the account doing the cleaning. Uh, if you did any project work and so on and so forth, uh, you can put the payment history for the client in there. You know that'd be great for them to see. And then uh, another one that you definitely probably want to put on it is uh, days without complaints. So, so when you you send this to your client and they open up the report and they can look at the activity for the past month, and they're seeing, oh well, geez, they made the supervisor is here, you know, uh, 13 times or whatever it was that month, and uh, they can see how many work tickets they had. And uh, as I said, you know, probably the biggest thing is that they they're looking and seeing, oh, days without complaints. Okay, so we've had 60 days without complaints or whatever it is. You know, that's great. You know, because again, that's just showing the value of your service. Otherwise, uh, it's kind of like, uh, you know, out of sight, out of mind type of thing. So this is why it's a good idea for somebody to go ahead and have an account activity report. Now, you can do it a couple of different ways. You could just have a Word document uh, that you could send to the person. You could, you know, listen to these things. Uh, you could also do a scoreboard or a scorecard uh, to where actually you have a graph. And, uh, you know, it's uh, something like this here. This here could be, uh, you know, a scorecard with the information that we were just talking about. Um, so you can produce one of those. And if you do a search for a scorecard or a scoreboard, uh, you can find all kinds of software uh, that will produce them. So you can take your information that you have and you can enter it and it will actually create a, a scorecard for you. Uh, which is pretty impressive because now you can just uh, you can email that scorecard to your client you know every month and it's a quick uh, quick view of them being able to see you know where things are at and so on and so forth and it's also a good tool for for managers you know to do the same thing to go ahead and review these scorecards so something to think about you know so if you're not doing account uh, activity reports think about it uh, you may see that it will add a lot of value uh, to your service. So just a quick tip for you. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, click on the subscribe button up above. And, uh, and uh, you're going to find you know, hundreds and hundreds of uh, videos on how to build a successful cleaning business. So until next time, we'll see you.